place. This world will be engulfed in darkness. Everything you care about, and everyone you love. If you truly possess the power of a princess of heart, your heart will resonate with the Keyblade wielders, and I believe you can lead me to that wielder's world. That is the only possible way to save ours, you see, this is more than an experiment. It's hope. Like most, you probably believe that nothing exists outside of this world you live in. And yet, there are countless other worlds. You can see them sparkle brilliantly in the night sky. Through that sea of stars, fate will guide your ship to where you are meant to be.
However, if you arrive in a world that's neither of light nor darkness, but somewhere on the other side, your task will be far from easy. If that happens, you must abandon your search. We have failed. Who are you? Show your face! <gasps> Not so fast, my dear. You're the one who keeps messing with my fate. If it weren't for everything that you've done, then Sora and everyone would be safe. Even if you're not really here, and this is just a memory or illusion, I won't let you walk away. You're right, I set you adrift in another world and drastically alter the course of your fate. In the end, you were destroyed by my hand, paving the way for Sora's disappearance. <sighs> You've become quite the Keyblade wielder. For a retired master, yes, it prepared you remarkably well. Uh. 
This world was created from the memories contained within your heart. You seek clues to Soros' whereabouts by using your memories of him to search through your own heart. But there's nothing for you to find here. I'm afraid the answer you seek lies in memories that are long gone. I have had enough of this! As I thought, your voice can't reach us here. Now I'm certain of where your heart is.
Thank you, Sora. On the day that I sent you out from your world, do you remember what it is I said to you? Those words hold the answer you seek. I may cause you to suffer, but I am a product of your heart. For that reason, I shall give you your answer. When my heart and body were still united as one, I told you about what would happen if we were to fail. If you arrive in a world that's neither of light nor darkness, but somewhere on the other side, your task will be far from easy. That is the answer I have for you. What does that mean? If you arrive in a world that's neither of light nor darkness, but somewhere on the other side, your task will be far from easy. Yes, he said that's the answer. Not of light or darkness, but on the other side? I've never heard of a place like that. Something else he said perplexes me. Your voice can't reach us. I'm certain of where your heart is. Hmm. You would assume that he's referring to the realm of darkness, but... That clearly isn't the case here, wouldn't you say? Where voices can't reach. The other side of our world. Of reality. Unreality. A fictional world? Fictional? Hmm. I'm afraid such mysteries are beyond our comprehension. Maybe Mickey or Master Yen Sid knows. Any news? Huh. Riku! Oh, Kairi, you woke up. Yeah, just now. How come you're here? Well, actually, I found some info about Sora. Really? We got something too. You did? Oh. <gasps> Whoa. Huh? Oh, excuse me, dears. I certainly didn't mean to startle you. If you're not expecting magic, it can be a surprise. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Now then, I am the Fairy Godmother, and it's a pleasure to meet you all. <sighs> she came here at Yen Sid's request. He said she's got a clue that might help us find Sora. Yen Sid sent you? That's right. To find Sora, we need three keys. First, Riku, and then, of course, there's you, dear Kairi. Okay. With Riku's dreams and Kairi's memories, you two have already done your part. Kairi's memories? Yes. We performed an examination of Kairi's heart and obtained an important clue from the lost memories it contains, which is that there's another world on the other side of ours that's not of darkness or light. Riku, what did you dream? Oh, well, since Sora disappeared, I've been having dreams about a large city with tall buildings. Apparently, that's the clue. A city? Maybe that's what Xehanort was talking about. A fictional world. A fictional world? Yes, perhaps. The three realms of our world. Light, 
darkness, and between. These are all places we can travel to, because they are on our side. This also includes the worlds of memories, data, and dreams. If I am correct, then this other side of our world, from which voices cannot reach, must be a place outside of our reality. Namely, it must be unreality, or fiction. But that is the extent of our knowledge. <sighs> so I thought we should go to Mickey and Master Yen Sid to ask about it. Mm, I'm not quite sure they'll be able to help you, my dear. Then what now? Oh, you forget. There are three people who hold the key. There's still one more. One with a strong will and a very precious dream. Who is it? You'll see. I'll introduce you. Huh? Whoa. This place. You know it? Yeah. I came here with Sora, and also in my dreams while I slept. This is... the final world. But there's no one here. That's not true. Why don't you look closer? Hmm... Huh? The stars, I never noticed. Yes, strong hearts gather here after death until they are ready to move on. I'm sure she's around here somewhere. She? The final key. Huh? We found you. We've been searching all over for you, my dear. Do I know you? I'm Kyrie. It's a pleasure to meet you. You're all able to retain your appearance in this world. I met someone else who could do that. Uh, so she's the final key? That's right, dear. Now we finally have all three. But how exactly can she help? It's simple. She came from the world on the other side. What? Huh? You see, she's very special. Her form was taken from her, but she managed to find her way here. If she goes back to her world, her heart will certainly be stolen. Right, dear? Oh, yes. It seems you know a lot about me. <laughs> a little. And I would use my magic to change you back if I could. But I'm afraid that's impossible while you're in this form. Don't fret, though. I believe that we'll find a way to make your dream come true very soon. My dream? Come true? I want to help make that happen. Will it lead us to Sora? Oh, I'm afraid it's not that simple. First, we must get to her world. She can open a path for us, and you can use the power of waking to go there. The power of waking? Sorry, but did I hear you say Sora? Huh? Wait, do you know him? Yes. He was here. 
He encouraged me not to give up. Did something happen to him? Yeah. Sora disappeared. He's a good friend of ours, so we've been looking for him. Mm. Right now, we think he's in a big city full of tall buildings. Ring any bells? A city full of tall buildings? Quadratum? Huh? It has more skyscrapers than any other city I know. That must be it. Quadratum. Is that where Sora is? There's no way of knowing. But I believe it is possible. All right. Think you can help us? I'm not sure exactly what's happening. But if Sora is in trouble, I want to help. Please let me know what you need from me. Thanks. I'm afraid this is as much as I can do. It's up to you, Riku, to take care of the rest. Hmm. I want to go. Kairi, that's not... <sighs> yeah, I know. I want to go with you. But... I know that I can't. I need to finish training. I need to become stronger. And when I do, I'll be right there next to you and Sora. Good. But first, I'll go explain everything. To Donald and Goofy, and to Mickey and Master Yen Sid. <laughs> <laughs> be careful out there, dear. And try not to do anything too reckless. Come straight back if you encounter any trouble. I will.
Haiku went alone? But that's way too dangerous! I have to go after him now! Do not be hasty, Mickey. But Master Yen said, he's all alone in a world we know nothing about! Precisely. We have never faced something like this before. Which is why we must remain calm. But... Hmm. Kyrie, this information you bring us, it comes from Xehanort during his time as a researcher? Yes. Then that means he must have been aware of this other world for quite some time. But... We defeated Xehanort. Is there anybody else we can ask? Hmm. When I was still serving as a Keyblade Master, it was known that the Ancient Masters had crossed over into another world. I surmise that Xehanort looked more deeply into that world. The Ancient Keyblade Masters? For now, we must reach out to those in Radiant Garden, the land of departure and Twilight Town who are searching for Sora to inform them of what we have learned and have them halt their respective efforts. Donald, Goofy, I leave this to you. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! And Kyrie. Will you continue your training, as you were before? Actually, I'd like to study under Master Aqua. That is an excellent idea. I approve. Thank you. And you, Mickey. Yes! I task you with the investigation of this new world, and how it is related to the ancient Keyblade Masters. But how? You'll begin in the world of Skala Ad Kailum.